Hello there, once again, it's uh, Diorama Don here. Uh, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Um, for me to do a project, I have to be inspired. Um, I sometimes uh, am at, at a loss as to what to do. And then all of a sudden, um, it's like a light bulb that comes on and I have an idea and uh, something I'd like to do. Um, and a lot of ideas obviously come from the internet. So I, I came across this, uh, it's, a, it's a 3D rendition of a, an old factory. Um, I shall only do the facade, um, the front, um, and make it more simpler than this. I won't copy it exactly. Um, whoever did this on a computer, um, I hope I'm not... Um, infringing on your copyright to whoever you are uh, but that's the kind of thing that I'm I'm looking for I've I've done a factory in the past the uh, the German train factory um, but that that was uh, quite easy to do so I, I'm trying to do something a little more involved shall we say so I've cut out something like the uh, 3d picture uh, with um, windows at the top there and, and these um, pillars at the side. Um, the windows will have to be cut out and then put back in from behind and then cut out again because they're recessed, they're recessed twice. So, um, yeah, that's what I've got to do. Um, so I'll carry on cutting out and make it look a little bit more um, factory looking and uh, I suppose I, I'm, I'm not sure but I think I'll have to brick it one brick at a time that's uh, that's the only way I'm going to do this so I'll move on and I'll be back in a moment before I move on <laughs> um, please subscribe to the channel um, I, I'm doing this now at the beginning uh, just in case people don't make it to the end. So if you're just watching this uh, this um, video for and watching my channel for the first time, uh, please subscribe. Uh, there are almost 50 videos now that I've done. And uh, there, if you subscribe, you'll be notified uh, every time I put a new video up, which is two or three times a week. So quite productive we are here. Uh, so I thought I'd mention that now. So I'll get on now. So I had the facade all marked out and uh, ready to cut. So I'll cut out these three arches. Uh, and then for the recess, uh, another piece of card behind. So that will give the impression of the recess there. And then behind that... Um, another piece with all the windows cut out so that will give my give me my two recesses that's easy for me to say uh, and then another piece with all the small windows cut out that will go at the top like so like that and then another piece that will fit in there for the doorway so you can see it's starting to get more three-dimensional now. So now we've we've cut back the recesses. Then we can put the pillars either side and start coming out this way. And there's all kinds of moulding going across that way too. Don't know where that goes. Uh, so it's starting to look um, more lifelike. The, the top, by the time I've put uh, more um, pieces of card there, it still won't be thick enough. So I'll have to put some uh, 11 mil or half inch um, polystyrene behind there. But you won't see it because I'll, I'll, I'll be putting coping stones all the way across the top there. Uh, but it'll, it'll bulk out the, the, the back to give it the thickness that it needs 
um, all will become apparent when I stick it all together. So that's what I'll do now. Get it all stuck up uh, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so we've put it all together. It's all stuck together now. Although the windows oh, and everything at the back there will have to be done separately. But the main building is uh, is finished. Uh, but I've, I shot myself in the foot a little uh, because I was so um, in, interested in having the uh, recesses. Um, if I brick this area here, it's, it's going to take my recess away. Um, and then with brick on the top, it's just going to leave... Um, exposed brick around around the arch so I, I don't think it would look good if I bricked it uh, which is good in a way because I wasn't looking forward to doing that uh, so I'm going to have to um, give it a, a coat of wall filler and water just to fill in all the uh, uh, anomalies there's a lot of gaps and, and bits and pieces I can fill with that uh, and then put um, something else on the top I will let you know when I've done it because I don't know what it is probably uh, a red grout the same brick color uh, but then give it a um, a black wash to darken it down to make it look more factory like uh, but anyway um, I put the polystyrene at the back to fill out the the top there to give it the the depth that it needed so um, although the polystyrene is there, you can't see it and you won't see it when it's done. So I'll finish this as best I can and then uh, I'll carry on with the rest of it. This will have to be uh, painted a different colour and then I can put that behind. OK, so uh, there we are. I'll be back in a moment. We'll see how we get on. So we've given the factory a bit of a, a finish now. Uh, I coated it in the uh, white wall filler to fill up any gaps and, and uh, a, a basis for the uh, grout colour on top. Uh, then uh, painted the same grout colour that I would normally have made the bricks with. Um, then it, it came out at a horrible bright orange colour, uh, which wasn't suitable at all. Uh, so then I gave it a, a black wash, uh, which worried me a little because it was very black, <laughs> but it seems to have dried, dried okay. Uh, and then with a little bit of uh, white uh, dry brushing over the top, that um, seems to be okay. Uh, glazed the windows and uh, stuck all the windows in, so they're all done. So basically that's the building finished. Uh, but what I'd like to do is uh, set it on a diorama base. So I've got two pieces of uh, the cheap, horrible polystyrene that is not worthy of modelling with, but it's perfect for a, a diorama base and costs no money at all. So two pieces stuck together there and then a piece of three mil cardboard on the top. And then that will sit on the diorama base like so. So now I've got something to do in the front here. Uh, there probably be a, um, a surrounding wall with some gates leading into the factory and uh, pipes. That's what I want to get into, pipes that nobody knows what they do, where they go, why they're there. But there's always pipes leading some, somewhere, doing something. Uh, so we'll make it a little bit more interesting with that. Get off, what's that? Okay, so uh, pleased with the, the, the building itself. Um, that turned out pretty well. Um, so I'll carry on. Probably a cobbled area in the front. And uh, some kind of uh, wall all around. So I'll do that and uh, I'll come back. 
Okay, so one factory all finished. Uh, I put the uh, the wall all the way around. It's just uh, polystyrene and cardboard. Uh, basically the same same as the factory itself. So I haven't bothered with any bricks or stones. It's just um, uh, just grout, really. That's all I've used. Two different coloured grouts. Um, the door is cardboard. I just carved out the uh, slats with uh, a sharp knife. And we've got piping all around. These are just uh, electrical um, right hand bends. These are straws. Painted a, a straw silver or sprayed a, a straw silver and then just cut out uh, for uh, 90 degree angles and they bend over and then just a little tack of glue to give that effect. You could use those bendy straws I suppose and paint those silver but they'll just end up looking like bendy straws painted silver. <laughs> So I just think this looks a, a bit more professional looking, more realistic. So we've got that there, whatever that is, I'm not sure. Oh, I need to stick that. Uh, it's just um, an industrial looking thing and some more pipe work there. So there we are, all, uh, all finished. Quick look at the top. There we go. I think that turned out reasonably well. Okay, so there we are. Um, please subscribe if you've uh, enjoyed the video. Um, there will be others following. Um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you again soon. So in the meantime, happy modelling.